and ghouls. So I know it's been way too long since I've put a video out, but it's time. It's time to update you as to what's happened. Basically, I had COVID. Since then, I've just been in a big whirlwind. I've done a couple of DIY videos, but the main reason I've been a little bit lapsed is because we are finally moving house in how many days until the 8th of january the 8th of january 2021 is in 10 days in 10 days so um just to kind of finish off the series i was doing um as in well not to finish off to like sum up basically we were waiting for the last search to come back before christmas and it actually came back early so i was kind of Pla like I wasn't planning to be making any videos like this anytime soon because we thought it'd be well into February before we were moving but the stars aligned the searches came back um we had a little bit of a faff trying to exchange contracts but we did it just before Christmas and got the date finalized we could have moved before Christmas but we made like a mutual decision with our sellers that we'd rather just have a chill Christmas <laughs> give us time to like prepare and get ready save a little bit more money and then we were we agreed on the 8th of january so we've basically got 10 days we've got the rest of this week until new year then i go back to work on the monday then we are moving in on the 8th which is the friday i'm going to go to work on the friday because i don't think we'll get the keys till like lunchtime um then we've got the whole weekend to move and then on monday i have got the day off to finish unpacking and to pick up the snakes yes you heard it right me and mike have finally bought our snakes so this is pumpkin this is my corn snake the rescue snake um and then mike got a firefly royal python here he is um his name is twiglet so we'll be getting those on monday so yeah i thought let's start the moving vlogs i said i would do moving vlogs and i want to stick to it um and i've just had to come to the realization that yes i am going to have not done my hair for three days and yes i am going to be in my pajamas but this is real life now <laughs> i cannot i do not have the time to be sitting down to film like a proper video but like i am so so happy to say that after like the 8th of January I'll finally have like a filming studio and I can have everything set up ready to go and hopefully things will become a little bit more consistent and more professional and like less <laughs> being lit by a <laughs> a Hugo okay so let me show you the situation right now so I thought I'd do kind of an update as to where we are right now um, and this is like the realisticness of what it looks like when you're trying to move out <laughs> so first big purchase we made is we've bought a new mattress at the moment we have a really like hard mattress on the bottom and a really squishy one on the top so we've bought a new mattress which won't be arriving till march um but we'll be taking that bed frame with us and we will be having that double mattress horrible combo um until the new one comes i purchased these amazing tables um and yeah it is super cramped now but they are like let me move my hugo and this combi meter and you can see it's like a cat table like how cool is this a cat table with a tail and then i got like a mini one there too you can see um so that was like one of my bigger purchases um i think it came to 170 for the two of those but something i've always wanted um mike already had this tv um but i have purchased some alexas and things just because i think it will make things a lot easier i wanted to have like a calendar so i thought <laughs> i had one of these machines as a dot um but i wanted one with a screen just so i can say like what am i doing on the 8th of january ta-da so i thought i could just <laughs> so i've got that many yes thank you um may need to go in our kitchen and stuff then here randomly i have a door knocker that mike got me for christmas he got me a door knocker i got him a doorbell so that went well um the animals are all kind of like over sort of here at the moment you can see they're kind of stacked um 
but yeah they're pretty much going to be quite easy to move hopefully you can just take the whole thing like oh my god look at that grandpa lamp you all right there jim um so hopefully they will be relatively easy to move the shelves down here have started to be emptied and like mike's cupboard is going to be impossible to get to until we've moved all the rest of this oh, good night everyone <laughs> let me just add a bit more light so hopefully you can see this is gonna be the hardest tank this is jeff's tank um we're gonna have to unplant the whole thing um and sort that out so that's just gonna be horrific um so chad shop find i found this um frog falls that i thought was really really cute as you can see i've just got like all of my essential pills etc just in this area this is kind of the only area that is free at the moment like a little bonsai tree one of my crystals that i haven't packed away my mate, like literally my favorite thing ever this um coffin planter which is going really well froggies over there random plants and stuff <laughs> and some more bugs and creatures um and in the top is a baby leaf insect which i did post about and i will do a video about her so coming around to over here this is the new setup for the stick insects unfortunately we have lost a stick insect is down there um he only kind of passed up well he was he's maybe still passing away at the moment so we're just leaving him be trying not to poke him too much um my clothing rack I've like taken down and all the dresses and jumpers I have at Mike's house are now down there um, and so is the magic worm and then over here <laughs> got a skeleton um, you can see like boxes are starting to build so yeah it's very cramped in here um, and everything is starting to get like packed up as you know my room is completely packed up by now um, so yeah it's just it's just mics at the moment it needs sorting so i thought what i could do is change the setting of that do a little homeware haul of things that we have just bought especially today from um robert dias <sighs> the robert dyer shops are still open even though we are now in tier four in england well not in england in surrey and hampshire we're in tier four now um the robert dyer shops are still open so we were still able to go and get the essentials is it essential travel when you could buy it on amazon i'm not sure um but we wanted to go see them so i have got some stuff under my bed so well under mike's bed let me pull it out we just put it in a storage box and luckily there's space under here although there are also vivariums under the bed too ready to upgrade the other animals so let me show you some of the things that we bought some of our necessities so i got a <laughs> can opener um these are all from robert dice robert dice has an amazing sale on at the moment like really really good um so everything's pretty much half price so we got a nice kind of can opener um a pastry brush very exciting we tried to stick to like the black color theme other than these <laughs> these are some um rainbow chopping boards i have got a coffin shaped chopping board on the way so i will of course show you all of like the more gothic homeware that i've had to order like handmade off of etsy but this is kind of like the general stuff you can get just down the town spoons boring pizza cutter potato peeler hooks for hanging up pictures which i'll talk about in a moment um they're just going to be um temporary hooks because one of our things when we move in is we want the house to look like personalized and have some photos up of everyone just so we feel like home rather than just like an empty house a potato masher that was mike's choice um <laughs> cheese grater because we're gonna need to eat lots of cheese to get by um got this black cutlery holder for like when you're washing up 
Um, the cutlery we have already bought and we got some vintage cutlery because I love the King's cutlery. It's like solid silver, um, like over the top pattern. I just love it. Um, and I will feature it in a video at some point. Um, that's my camera. We got some knives and these are by Sattler, no Salter. Salter, I think. We got our knives, our kettle, and our pots and pans all by this company. And it's because they make fully black, well, good quality, but also fully black. So these knives are like matte black. Well, yeah, they're matte black, I think, yeah. They're just solid black, and they come with like this strange holder thing, but we want like basically as much solid black as we can get. Um, and then the last thing in this box is this and this is something i ordered off of amazon i will leave a link down below these are coasters um and they're photo coasters so i don't know if you remember like when <laughs> well definitely when i was a child i used to make them all the time like um these like plastic key rings and you put your picture in and you clip it together and you get this like little rectangular key ring it's pretty much the same as that so you had like the bottom of the coaster and the top bit like clips in so we went to boots today and had loads of photos printed and then you just cut them to size click them in and you have some photo coasters so i've got like obviously all the pets i've got my old cat fred who passed away quite a few years ago now jim my tortoise albert like you know name it we've got them on a coaster now my dragon <laughs> trevor my lovely gerbil and like yeah there's 20 of them in here chameleon we got them back so that they don't drop them got the snakes um my kitten who i am going to bring with me now Frogos, leaf insect. Basically, what I did is I went through my Instagram and saved all the pictures of the pets that I've taken. And yeah, got them all as coasters. So each one of these is a different coaster with one of the animals on. Rupert, Max Lottel. So they are all there. 20 coasters in total so we're definitely gonna have no excuse for ring lines ring circles okay so here are some more boxes that we've packed this bottom box is all of Mike's like pictures and like things from childhood that he wants to remember that's all like in this bottom box this box here is all our spare reptile stuff so you can see like there's coca fiber in there there's like a couple of um enclosures like small um invertebrate ones bulbs at the bottom here um and i will show you this obviously when we're unpacking but i bought these like wooden monstera plant like leaves they're like this big um i've bought three of them and they're to like go on our door and i'm hoping to like decorate it all and make it jungle themed so the first thing i'm going to show you is in this box um it's something i got for christmas and i'm in love with it it is i take the bubble wrap off a snail lamp look at this it is so cool it like plugs in you can turn it on and the bulb is inside its shell like honestly so cool let me just put the bubble wrap on also he's got three eyes um i'm not sure which antique shop it came from but i know it did come from one of the antique shops near where we live we did get some random amazon stuff um because we're gonna have like a smart home so you have a fire stick at the moment it's downstairs on the tv that mike's parents are using but when they're done we're basically going to take it got the new echo dot to go upstairs in the bedroom we want some of our lights to be controlled through the kind of amazon system so we've got some phillips bulbs that 
These ones are just white and like warm colours, but they're all kind of programmable through the Alexas. Um, and these ones are like the whole hue. So they're like my Philips bulb. <laughs> that just changes colour as you ask it to. Turn Hugo pink. Okay. Turn Hugo orange. Okay. So yeah, we've got some of those bulbs. Um, I've got this lovely owl <laughs> that I got from the garden centre. Up here, this was Mike's Christmas present. I got him a ring doorbell that also like links with all the Amazon systems so that we have straight away some security at the house, which is really good. We can install it straight away. Um, and there is also like a doorbell to go with it, but it's still in the post, which actually Mike is getting delivered tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah. In this bag is some more things we got from Robert Dias today. <laughs> so we got a colander, very exciting, only came in silver. Um, and to go with our black theme, a black washing up dip, like bowl. Um, we did want the drying rack, but they were sold out in black. So we'll go back or order it online. Then we got this kettle, which is also by Salter. Um, it's an iridescent one, which I was really excited about, but also it changes like color. So <laughs> this is so sad. When you put the water in it, it's like blue. And then as it boils, it like slowly turns red. And I was just really excited about that. And also I wanted a kettle that was a glass so I could see how much water there was in there. So I don't boil too much because I always boil too much water. Um, and then I think possibly the last thing we bought today um, is this heavy five piece kitchen set. So it's got like frying pans and pots, exciting things. They are like full black, as I said. <laughs> And these were meant to be a hundred pounds, but they were reduced down to 50. Um, and they also have, um, what's that thing called? In, what's it called? What, suitable for induction? It's like suitable for an induction hob, which is what we have um, in our new kitchen. So even though we already had loads of pots and pans and stuff, they won't necessarily work with our cooker. So we thought we'll just get some new ones and then they'll be black instead of silver. Not that I have anything against silver, I just wanted black. So, let's put this all neatly back. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, we've taken like everything off the walls other than the <laughs> antlers with this rose that I'm trying to try. Um, but yeah, everything's sort of like getting stacked up really. Um, that, oh, photos, that was the other thing I was going to talk about. Today we went to Boots and Poundland and got some photos printed. So we just got pictures of like me and Mike, the family, um, pets, as I showed you. Um, and we've put them in frames ready to go. So we've got about like 10 frames sort of ready so that when we get there if we want to we can literally put them up like on the friday or the saturday um and just feel a bit more like home like really so yes literally so as i said i do have a few things that are on the way and i will show you those when they come again i think i'm just gonna make like informal haul videos like this just to show you the bits and then like anything i miss we will re Hall kind of thing anyway when we're moving in and like giving you a little tour um but the things that we've got like on the way the things we've got on the way and i'll just screen record this so you can literally just see it um are some bits for the reptiles um some doilies which i have also bought some um dye so that i can dye them all black of course um got some cat placemats and some like matching coasters because these are the placemats well very like same make very similar to the ones that mike has um some like plates and bowls which let me show you are 
it's a design called Indian Green Tree and I just like love this design so much. Um, go back one. Uh, these are some steak knives and other like kitchen bits. Uh, and then yeah, these these are the knives and forks which we got. I'm really really excited about literally love them so much so they have arrived already um so we have those coming from eBay and then from Etsy I can't actually remember let me have a look oh I did buy something from Batbones shop eerie touch so I got this coffin organizer which I'm so so excited about I cannot wait for it to come um, but I want to make like along with where my filming is like a makeup hair stand so I figured this like little makeup brush organizer would be really handy to have there um, and I think other than a few other bits and bobs that's that is everything that we're waiting for like in the post um but yeah we are super excited crazy now that it's like becoming a real thing that's going to happen soon um and we did really want to like document it and you know like show the process because i have been like making videos since because i did start like the whole series like when we started looking to like actually moving in it feels like it's been forever it's literally been six months but it feels like it's been going on forever i think because we wanted to buy a house for so long um but yeah the next real plan is is um my mum has got everything out of the roof like all of the spare kitchen and houseware so we're going to go through all of those and see what we want um and then we're going to go to asda and get a few more like basic essentials um but i think we are like nearly like touch wood pretty much there with everything um on terms of like other stuff we've had to get we've had to sort out our council tax our water in and out although we haven't quite finished the in part um because we're still waiting on something um we've done our gas and electricity we decided to go with edf energy um our internet and phone line we're going to go through vodafone we got like really good discounts because i've been with vodafone since 2009 for my actual mobile so we got really good discounts and um the speed is meant to be really good where we're moving like for vodafone we have the life insurance which i spoke about in my last video which basically i think i left it as we called up our mortgage advisor um who is at baxter financial services and he sorted everything like literally all we had to do was open an email and confirm um so we sorted out that and then for our house insurance we were gonna go through another company to like advise us but in the end we just went on like a go compare site and found one that was a good price and we just decided to pay for it for the year so we didn't have to worry about it um the only other like crazy thing really that i've like taken away from like the last couple of weeks is as soon as we like exchanged contracts so literally the moment we exchanged contracts even though we're not in the house and this happened a couple of weeks ago um we technically then owned the house like it was our house so we had to get house insurance the day that we exchanged contracts so it's definitely something to consider if perhaps you are like working on a really tight budget and you're thinking all oh, good i don't have to start paying out any of those bills until i'm actually in you do have to pay before you get in you have to pay your house insurance before you get in because if the current owners burnt down the house it would be our house they would be burning down um and of course we had to pay off the solicitors and our mortgage advisor so we've kind of paid everyone off now um and it's just like the moving in and then the general bills um which i hope i'll make a whole video about that separately i think um but yeah hope you enjoyed this as i said sorry it's a bit like crazy and all over the place and i'm in my pajamas and like it's a bit of a state um but i figured if i don't do this now i'm probably not gonna do it because everything is so busy and crazy and we just seem to be like doing stuff non-stop as we're getting closer and closer 
and especially since like on Monday we have to go back to work so <laughs> gotta like get it all done this week ready for Friday um oh and we booked a van as well we've booked a moving van from Friday to Sunday so we've got that the three days um to move so we've got those three days to move the heavy things so yes thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions comments please leave them down below if it's somewhere you are i hope you enjoy the shade and we'll see you next time bye